Let's get into my Instant Pot Beef Short Rib Tagliatelle Pasta. Here's how I do it. I season my short ribs with kosher salt and pepper, and then I sear it off in a cast iron skillet and some grapeseed oil. I make sure I get it nice and brown on each side, and then I remove it and add some onions and carrots, season that up, and then mix everything together with some tomato paste and garlic paste. Then I deglaze with some dry red wine. Doesn't matter which one, just make sure it's dry. Once it's bubbling, I turn off my heat, and then I'm going to start transferring everything to the Instant Pot. In the Instant Pot, I'm going to add my short ribs, the onions and carrot mixture with tomato paste, some beef broth, and season that up again. We're going to cook this high pressure for 60 minutes, prepare our pasta until al dente, and then the meat is going to shred off the bone just like this. This is my favorite part, you guys. I played with the timing on the Instant Pot for a while to get this right. I started at 35 minutes. That was not long enough for these big old short ribs, so I went all the way up to 60 minutes and like this takes four hours, four and a half hours in the oven on low. So it's really clutch to be able to make super flavorful and tender short ribs in the Instant Pot. So don't be afraid to put them in uh, in the Instant Pot. You're not going to lose any flavor. Just make sure, again, you're seasoning really liberally with that salt and pepper. Once everything is shredded, I'm going to separate the fat from my sauce and then go ahead and add everything back to the Instant Pot. I like to add Worcestershire sauce, heavy cream, Parmesan, and butter to build this like short rib ragu. And then I go in with my al dente pasta. I mix everything in. And right now I have the Instant Pot on saute so that I'm getting a little bit more heat so that the sauce comes together with the pasta. I mix in that meat mixture and I combine it really well. And at the end, I love to add some freshly grated Parmesan it's a must have, don't skip it. You wanna plate it up and go ahead and add even more Parmesan to serve. I did it with some air fried green beans. I hope you guys enjoy.